This is going to be my last Happy Wheels video for the foreseeable future. So this was just an idea that I had. I wanted to hold some fruit at high pressure and then shoot it out to see what happens. I hoped that it might make fruit shrapnel that tears through obstacles or something, but the force isn't nearly enough for that. It runs at a glorious 8 frames per second. That's a pretty annoying bug. If I set Wheelchair Guy as the test character in the editor and bring him flush to the floor, then certain characters can get their wheels stuck in the floor. In this case, it's Segway Guy and Lawnmower Man. I'd think that Jim would do something to address that in the eight years that Happy Wheels has been online. It's difficult to get those last few bits.
In my opinion, most pogo jumps are too easy and pretty boring. I added a sort of time limit to increase the difficulty. The spikes get stuck on the helmet. It, that's a flaw that I didn't realize when making this. Let's skip through this. You don't need to see the full two minutes of me struggling. Ow. My brain hurts. I made this level in less than two hours. I really should have put forward more time to find out bugs. Here's what I should have done. Instead of a spike set, I should have implemented a set of spinning knives. The helmet would be able to pass through the spaces between the knives. You might wonder why these levels don't appear on the user page in my previous videos. I recorded much of the gameplay in May and June of 2018, and I only recently got around to editing it. My original number generator had a flaw, so I decided that I'd try to do better. Originally, the player starts falling automatically, and all of the triggers are activated simply when you pass through them. In theory, you could reproduce the same outcome simply by pressing the same buttons in sequence across multiple runs. 
Here, it's much more difficult to do that. The invisible block serves to slow down players, and it's difficult to avoid since it's difficult to judge the block's distance. I also now have to click on two of the triggers to make them work, adding an additional time delay. Even this improved system seems to favor six. Perhaps? I had a lot of fun making these videos for YouTube. If you're interested in playing Happy Wheels, you should check out my levels. They're all playable on TotalJerkFace.com. Also, subscribe to YouTube if you feel like it. That too.